Hola, tis I, Alicia. How are you? I hope you're doing well. So we're going to look into this incident that happened while they were filming this movie called Rust, which involves Alec Baldwin and the cinematographer. Now, forgive me if I say her name wrong. Uh, Helena Hutchins. That's how I'm going to guess her name is pronounced. Not sure. Um, and then there was somebody else shot as well. Was it the director? I don't know. Anyway, there's all sorts of like weirdness about this. And I think there's an opportunity for us to put a tinfoil hat on this one. This is just some, something's not something's not smelling right. Okay. So I have an article here first. I'm going to read part of it. This is from the LA Times. This was uh, published 1022. Uh, so, and I'm filming this 1023. All right. So the tragedy occurred Thursday afternoon during filming of a gunfight that became, that began in a church that was a part of an old Western town at the ranch. Uh, his character, Baldwin's character was supposed to back out of the church. According to production notes, it was the 12th day of the 21 day shoot. Cinematographer Helena Hutchins was huddled around next to a monitor lining up her next camera shop when she was accidentally killed by the prop gun fired by Baldwin. The actor was preparing to film a scene in which he pulls a gun out of a holster and the crew members had already shouted cold gun on the set. Uh, the filmmaking team was lining up its camera angles and had yet to retreat to the video village, an onset area where the crew gathers to watch filming from a distance via a monitor. Instead, the B camera operator was on a dolly with a monitor checking out potential shots. Hutchins was also looking at the monitor from over the operator's shoulder as the movie's director, Joel Souza, was crouching just behind her. Baldwin removed the gun from his holster once without incident, but the second time he did so, ammunition flew toward the trio around the monitor. That's an interesting way to characterize this. Ammunition flew. Uh, the projectile was by the camera operator, but penetrated Hutchins near her shoulder, then continued through to Sousa. Okay, to the director. That's the second person. Hutchins immediately fell to the ground as crew members applied pressure to her wound in attempting to stop the bleeding. Um, they said that he was, Baldwin was handed the loaded weapon by an assistant director who indicated it was safe to use moments before the actor fired it. The assistant director did not know the prop gun was loaded with live rounds. Now that's plural. Don't know. Anyhow, they were having issues over there with the crew. Um, the union crew just, they did not like what was happening um, on set. They already had concerns about safety. They said that there was um, issues with, I don't know if it's specifically this gun or another one misfiring earlier. So anyway, I believe Hutchins had raised concerns about safety on the set and um, her crew was out and this new other crew that was not union was brought in. Um, there's something else here. The gun that killed the filmmaker Helena Hutchins on the set of Rust was a vintage Colt pistol. Um, it said Alec Baldwin. This was October 23rd via BBC gossip.com. Okay. Alec Baldwin was handling the vintage gun on the set of Rust in Santa Fe, New Mexico, when it accidentally discharged, killing mom of one Hutchins 42 and wounding director Joel Sousa. Um, I'm looking here to see if there's anything. It was not known who loaded the weapon and why it went off as a replacement crew was brought in the day of the incident. Um, the warrant indicated that a single bullet struck Hutchins in the chest and then struck director Joel Sousa in the shoulder as he was standing behind her, injuring him, suggesting the bullet traveled all the way through Hutchins' body. Okay, so we have that information. One of you lovelies also sent me a message. So let me find that and bring that piece of information. So the woman, Hutchins, who was murdered is married to a lawyer working for, um, 
how do I want to say? She's Alec Baldwin's shooting victim is a wife of a Clinton connected lawyer involving a Durham indictment. So the husband of Helena Hutchins is a corporate lawyer at Latham and Watkins Los Angeles office. One of Latham and Watkins clients is Michael Sussman, the Clinton attorney who was just indicted by Durham. Now, is that anything? I don't know. They, this could potentially just be some big, big law firm and he could just be a cog in the wheel, right? It doesn't mean that he's uh, in the thick of things, as we could say. Then I want to read what I found here. Oh my goodness, things are getting crazy already and I haven't even got into the reading. Uh, here's a few like different points from this. Number one, he, we're going to call Alec AB, he was given live rounds. AB was given live rounds. Live rounds as in bullets with gunpowder behind them that aren't allowed on the set because they can't be used. The only rounds that are allowed are dummy rounds no gunpowder, and blank rounds, no bullets. There's no way a live round would make it to a set because it wouldn't have been purchased or stored in the first place. This would only happen if a crime is being committed, allegedly. Number two, virtually no, no one nowadays uses blank firing during day scenes. This is because you can't see the muzzle flash in the daytime. You would just fire the revolver and let it cycle. It is pretty much completely unheard of nowadays and for good reason. Insurance is purchased for films and every single thing is scrutinized before it is approved. If you have something that is somewhat slightly risky, you pay thousands of dollars more for it and the studio tells you up front to make a cheaper decision. Okay, these things all make sense. Number three, when firing a gun on set, the hired weapons expert, armorer, prop master, or other crew members load blanks into it. It is practically impossible to load a series of blanks and also a live round in a six shooter revolver without noticing. Um, apparently it's like if you're going to be looking at all of the pieces that you're putting into this firearm, you're going to notice one doesn't look like the other. Okay. Number four, it's extremely rare that an actor would aim a gun at a crew member. Actors aim guns at other actors or at empty spaces. Even if they are pointing the gun at the camera, the cinematographer and the director are not directly behind the camera or in the way of the gun. They are off to the side looking at the monitors. Now, when that first article I was reading said that they were like still lining up the shot, could this just be someone was not in the spot that they were supposed to be and somehow they messed up with their safety protocols? I don't know. Um, even if the camera is moving and the cinematographer is behind it, it's still extremely rare that the actor would aim a gun at them due to all the other angles it could be aiming at is a very rare alignment that does not occur in this person's opinion. Number five, the press are misleading you on purpose. They keep saying this was a prop gun. A prop gun is a gun that cannot fire bullets. Only a real gun can fire real bullets. He was given a real gun, which was a six shooter revolver, which we, there's a report out there that it was a vintage Colt. Um, they're only saying they're saying prop gun for a reason. They're trying to diminish the fact that this was a crime. Number six, the passing falls in line with an occult practice of art predicting death. Now here's where we get our tinfoil hat on. A B is in a movie where he plays a man trying to help his grandson who committed an accidental murder. Brandon Lee was in a film where he played a man who gets shot and killed and resurrected. Heath Ledger played a rebooted version of the same character that got killed and resurrected. Heath Ledger played a character that was directly inspired by the movie The Crow, The Joker. David Goyer and Chris Nolan admitted that the Joker's entire look and makeup, the way he goes into this gangster meeting, the knives he chooses, the fire symbols, and a lot more are directly ripped from the movie The Crow. So they're all playing characters that they become in real life. Okay, so was this just simply an accident or is there something else going on? I don't know. We'll see what the information we get from the cards. I'm gonna switch the screen. Here's today. So you can see when I made this recording. Um, what do we wanna start with? Let's start here. 
Let's see what we can get first from Gypsy Cards. Okay, we have an enemy card, we have a love card, we have a foe card. So we have two enemies, we have an old woman, and we have some pleasure seekers. All right, let's see what we have here. We have some cheerfulness, we have prison, this can be prison of your mind, this is a merchant, merchant usually has to deal with some type of like a business deal. We have a consolation and we have a lover. We have love over here as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> we have a servant. Wow, doesn't that really fit? A soldier, a dude with a gun. We have misfortune. We have haughtiness, thinking I can get away with it. And we have a room. Okay. What I'm getting from in here is there's other things going on here, but it's like multiple things so far that I'm getting. <clears throat> we have some, something here to do with a prison. Now this could be prison of the mind, this could be a physical prison, um, something. We have cheerfulness. This is people getting together, chit-chatting, maybe hatching a plan. Because we have a merchant. Merchant's gonna be doing business. So there's business going on, we're having meetings. Um, consolation, is this a consolation prize? Maybe. And then we have a lover card. Over here we had our lover and our enemy, or our foe and our enemy, right? But we also had some love. Then we have this old woman. I don't know who she is yet. Maybe you could say she's HC. Don't know. And we have these pleasure seekers. Now this is interesting. We got these three people together hanging out, talking. We have these three people over here hanging out, talking. We have some enemies. So this is like, perhaps there's some plan that's hatched and this is not completely accidental. Okay, we have a servant. and servant's going to be doing whatever they are told. We have a soldier. Perhaps a soldier and the servant are the same person. Perhaps that's A, B, don't know. We'll keep going. We've had <coughs> definite misfortune because someone's passed away. <clears throat> we have haughtiness here in terms of thinking I can get away with this. And we have a room. I don't know if this room is then tied back to, we have these three people here and these three people here. We're meeting in a room or we're meeting together in some type of like space that is ours to talk about these plans. So far, I'm not feeling like this was an accident, but that's just my opinion on what I'm seeing in the card so far. Alrighty, <clears throat> let's <clears throat> let's start our dive here into the incident. Uh. 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 This not, this is not looking good. Allegedly for entertainment purposes, this is a tarot card reading. Okay, energy behind this is that this is not an accident. This is logic. This is planned. This is a part of something else, perhaps. But it is definitely not an accident. We have, we're trying to move something forward in terms of lies. That could be the narrative that is out there now, but we're We've got lies going on. We're trying to move something forward. Hey, guess who showed up? Sneaky Stacker's here. He's on the scene. And this is a part of furthering an agenda. <clears throat> we have some issues here though because this doesn't feel like this was a well thought out plan because we've got some concerns now about how we are moving forward with this plan. This is not well thought out. There's some something here that's a problem. We're trying to slow this stuff down. 
we don't have our normal backup in terms of how we slow this down, but we're trying to slow this down so we can control the narrative here, so we can just move on and sail past this like no big deal. Um, uh, remember when we saw the love cards earlier? Is there some other level of like there's multiple, I guess we can call them storylines going on with this. There's some, there's a plan behind this, but there's something else with a relationship going on here as well. Um, that might just be a side note essentially to this that comes out later that there's some type of affair going on um but this looks like how i want to phrase this it looks like perhaps the woman who's passed and her husband were not having a good relationship and there was an affair and now he's rushing in to be like oh i loved her so much but perhaps not as all as it appears through what we are seeing because there's this other relationship here that was like kind of reckless and not on the up and up. Is this also a part of, I have no other way to say this, like leveling up. This feels like it's a part of something else, but this also feels like leveling up, like, hey, this is something that needs to be done and you are going to be rewarded for this. Um, but we need this done and you're gonna do it. Like there's, it's kind of like, would you like to level up? Good, because you don't really have a choice because you're going to do this. Like, so does that mean that AB was put into a position he could like an offer he could not refuse kind of thing, maybe. There's there's some other stuff, obviously. There's secrets to be revealed about this, but it's like uh, not good for the planners. We're hoping that we can just move on from this. This is like really affected our bottom line. Gee, that's really loving. This has really affected our bottom line. Um, we're, this is sick. This is like, we're outwardly boohooing it, but something here, a message was sent. This, there's three people here collaborating could be three people, could be more, but there's our collaboration team is celebrating this because this did what it was supposed to do, whatever that may be at this point. This is a desperate act. This was intentional. This is, this is intentional. This was a desperate act though. Um, things are getting out of control and we are doing, um, Misdirection, misdirection, okay? Things are getting out of control and this is like something we're misdirecting with whatever we're putting out. There's other stuff at work that you are not privy to. Um, but this is, there's something else going on with this. There's something else going on with this. Okay. There's something else going on with this that we're not privy to. <clears throat> Let's look into Let's look at the four people, the main four people, I guess. Let's look at AB. Let's look at the lady, Hutchins, who died. Let's look at the director. Let's look at her husband. All right. Okay, so th this is This is A.B. Baldwin. Um, he's feeling some kind of left out in the cold. He's feeling um, it's almost like 
there's a level of resentment here. Um, this feels like there's a level of resentment. There feels like there might be an issue where there was some type of affair going on or something because it feels like there's some type of affair going on, but it's like part, I don't know if that's tied with her or not, but it feels like some type of affair going on. Um, and so he's having his own issues and this feels like this is just the cherry on top of the pie. This is her. This is, uh, her, she has no clue. Obviously. I mean, if you had a clue, would you? Yeah. Um, she, this is her talking about, she was very happy about the work that she was doing. She was looking how to figure out how to fix the shit on the set. Um, she was upset. She couldn't figure out how to figure out how to get everybody calmed down and to make everything a better situation on the set. It's all she's coming up as. Okay, this is the director, Joel. <clears throat> is he up? This is looking like, I know there's some shit going on. This is like low level though. This is like not conspiracy level in my opinion. This is I know that there's changes that need to changes that need to be made on the set in terms of what she's asking for and stuff, but I don't I don't want to spend the money, I don't want to spend the time, I don't want to waste any more time. Um, all right, here's a my quick solution that's not very good, but this is like a quick solution that's like not done with the best interest of heart. It's just like I don't know if he had any say about sending the crew home or whatever, but apparently it's just like, I don't care. I gotta get this done. Okay. This is Helena's husband that works at that law firm. He, he's like out in the cold. He knows something though. He knows something. He's out in the cold. He knows something, he doesn't know what to do with it, okay? He knows something, he doesn't know what to do with it, but he's out in the cold, and he he's trying to, I don't know why he's trying to pull shenanigans about stuff. Um, it's almost like he wants to shine a light in a different direction. Okay. Let me look at this, the energy between Alec and her. This is almost weird. Like they, um, not intentional. That's how this comes out. Not intentional. Where this affair is coming from, I'm not quite sure. But between them, it doesn't look like this is an affair. But this is like not intentional between them. At least that doesn't, so both parties are not aware of whatever else is going on. Okay. Let's look up here. This is the director. Let's look at director and AB. Okay, this is like him just moving forward. He doesn't really give a shit how it gets done just as much as it gets done, okay? He has like a, he cares about getting the job done. He doesn't care how it's done. He's trying to balance his priorities, his budget, the timeline, the everything that goes on with the shooting. So he doesn't really give a shit about the safety. Okay. Now let's look at AB and the husband. This feels like there's some type of opportunity here because there's something fucked up here. This is to hold on to keep my shit safe. Like, I know something, I don't know what to do with it. This is something I need to keep myself safe from something. I don't know how else to go about this. I, this is like, I'm, I, I, I've run out of options. I don't have anything else here to, that I can do. Uh, but I'm, 
desperately trying to hold on to this could be my life, this could be my assets, this could be my whatever you want to say. I'm desperately trying to hold on to my shit because shit is coming down the pike for me. Okay, that's weird. So, so far, this is getting interesting. So what I'm getting here is perhaps AB, in a way, not I'm not I'm not giving him a pass because there's gun safety and you should know you don't point a gun at anybody and you don't trust somebody else's word uh you shouldn't now that could just be that he's like a lazy ass in terms of you know you should check your own equipment you should hello we're dealing with life and death obviously but it it's almost feeling like he doesn't know he's been put into this position Okay, let's look at this armorer, the, the one that came in who was not a part of the union. Inexperienced, doesn't know which way's up, kind of like, not a pro. Not a pro for the job she was put in to do. She's not a pro. It was kind of like, um, thinking that this is a really good opportunity, but she is not a pro about this and she didn't, she wasn't even, I don't know if she just got a, you know, reassured, everything's good, you got an easy job here, don't worry about it, da da da, something, but she was not a pro, okay? But it doesn't look like she's in a part of this plan. Okay. Let's just double check. Is A, B, was he aware of the plan? Uh, now he is. Allegedly for entertainment purposes. Um, he, it's like, wasn't. So he wasn't let in on this. I believe it's now he's quite aware of something else is going on here and he's being essentially framed for it. Okay, so he's been told there's something else going on here and you better act your little ass off I'm telling you this is eyes wide shut crew this was something to avoid disaster there's something else going on here with these people this feels though there's something they have not covered up every piece or angle or something there's something dangling out here there's a dangling chad there's a dangling participle there's a dangling piece of information here they didn't, they didn't clean up all the way. Somebody's, there's something that they're still trying to clean up. Maybe that's why all these stories are coming out and they're going so hard at this. Um, but it doesn't look like he knew beforehand. Okay, so doesn't excuse him. So he doesn't know, she doesn't know, the director doesn't know. This lawyer guy, the husband, does the husband know? What did he know? There's something about sneaky snackers showing up all over. Okay, so there's something with him, whatever, like there's a, like, I don't know what this connection is though. There's something related to him, something that he knows, that he's aware. There's some relationship that he has that there's secrets. He's trying to avoid that shit coming out. Um, and uh, I don't uh, allegedly for entertainment purposes I don't know if they thought that this was a creative solution in terms of make sure the truth doesn't come out does this also mean that you don't have a choice in this that there's somebody else who's been put in the position to make this happen I would say yes but apparently it's not any of the visible actors so far in this there's some relationship here he is he's got to like cover up a he there's something he's got to cover up but why do you have to take out the wife why do you have to take out the wife 
save one's ass. Uh, it's like it's a creative solution to save one's ass in some way. I don't know if this was like, it's either you or her. Your choice, how you wanna do this. And this is like, blackmail kind of information or something like it's either you or your family your kid I don't know there's something here going on and this is something else but F okay let's let's pull these out okay there's something else going on here. Obviously. In my opinion. Allegedly for entertainment purposes. Okay. So we've got we've got these people showing up, right? This could all be all these things here can all be a part of the same group. Usually they are. They also go along with the corruption, right? So we got the eyes wide shut crew is a part of this in some way, which makes sense because we know HC. We know that there's some connection here. These all seem to go together, or at least where we seem to be going. These all seem to be going together. We had this early on. We're worried about prison of the mind or actual prison. There's some type of communication. But I think this is also, uh, you know, we have the miscommunication. What's going on here? This is not, this is this. This is Eyes Wide Shut Crew. I would say in connection with the bad actors of the this, right? There's something going on with this. There was a success. This is the, the relationship thing. I don't know what this is. I still don't know what this is, why this matters. Um, obviously we had the female, we had the crew that was fired. There is a passing, right? That all goes together. There was success because that mission was accomplished for whatever these purposes are over here. We have outside, inside, I don't know yet. This, this, let's check it out. We'll start over here, inside, outside. We have uh, the balloons, I believe the balloons are for celebration. Yep, celebration or look from a higher perspective. And then we have the umbrella, 47. Protected, shelter, insurance. This is going to tell me, this is what I'm gonna take from when, remember, we'll go back in the beginning where we had that there was a room, there was a meeting. There's a meeting maybe about, they were inside playing about what they're gonna be doing on the outside. You have the whole, cover story of we're on a movie and it's just a terrible accident okay that's inside outside that's what we got okay so i think this is about planning this success public recognition of a marriage karmic will it goes around comes around okay I think there's something else. It's like, that's why I say this is a side story that was going on with the relationship, but to the outside, it's gonna be like, oh, it's a wonderful marriage and da da da. But I think it's also like a, a secret symbol, secret signal, secret something. There's something else going on with this, but this is just a side story that's popped up in this reading, but not like the main part. This could also be what goes around comes around is like, I know you were up to fooling around on me, perhaps, allegedly for entertainment purposes. And, you know, I would rather sacrifice you than my kid, allegedly. Don't know, that's weird. Okay, getting back to the, the female passing and it's a success and we got the fired. All right, what do we have here? We have the bus, wheels on the bus go round and round. Okay, so there's travel involved, obviously. They travel to this ghost town we have the 48, that's the scissors, cut it out. Something needs to be cut out, she has to go. Oof. 99. Open mouth, be happy. 
happy about the circumstances that brought the uh, new crew in, not the experienced crew. Uh, success, 18. We're painting here. Artist palette. This is creativity. Success. This was all... Oh, I got tingles. This is all like we have successfully painted this picture to get this done for whatever I don't... Uh, okay? So this is a whole thing. Allegedly, for entertainment purposes. All right, this whole hot mess. I didn't really tap too much into these. If we have to, we will, but we've got a lot of stuff here. All right, we have an eight ball behind the eight ball, obviously. Okay, so we're behind the eight ball here with all of this stuff going on, okay? all of our nefarious eyes wide shut crew we're behind the eight ball there's something else going on here let's start with 28 this is i think uh, pay attention to this save important so put a pin in this this part's important here we have 84 gosh it's a clapboard how fitting time to take action that's almost like a double meaning isn't it that's creepy that is seriously creepy Right? Come on, camera. That is seriously creepy. We have a wedding ring. Why? Engagement. I think this is related to this relationship. This is specific for some reason. 69. Yin yang, cause and effect. What goes around comes around. Balance of good and evil. Balance and equilibrium, cause and effect, alchemy. Okay, we have these uh, Christmas bells, toxic. It's a toxic situation. What? Really? No, this is wedding bells. Wedding bells. Sorry, wrong bells. This is, fuck, what is, well, I guess because, why do I keep trying to look deeper into this? This is related to this lawyer because this is his wife. So this is related to his wife that's part of this so somebody needs to look deeper into this lawyer dude right and we have De Niro 94 money issues this not what I expected I was totally expecting this to just be something else with a B but we have this I didn't let's let's dig into this shit over here a little bit more I think that's important too of course that came up religious factors of the other kind okay we have the cup of coffee wake up and smell the coffee we've got 20 over here so a cog in the wheel gear it's a karmic wheel again this this is <sighs> we have the lantern seeking the light within hmm. and we have the frog prints that's interesting don't be fooled by appearances this is all shady shit i mean this is like shady shit there's something else going on here. Now you can all say we all have our tinfoil hats on, but there's something else going on here. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on with this dude, the husband. Why, why, why? I told law enforcement it was just an accident involving my wife. Okay? I loved her deeply. Some egotism. We saw this earlier, I believe. Haughty, haughtiness. Did we see that card? Okay. This, I don't know. There was a meeting. I don't think that was... I think she was supposed to, like, later. Not immediate. Didn't want immediate attention on this, but... <sighs> I 
Oh my. That would tie with this. Something. This would also say, this card, I don't want to show it for too long. That would also say that this is being popped up. A, because look what we're doing over here, but not what we're doing over here, right? But there's also something else going on here. I think there's somebody else who knows there's some there's some other piece of the puzzle here, man. This is this dangling Chad, as I called it, or the dangling participle. There's somebody else who knows part of this. There I don't know. I feel like I can't get any deeper with it right now. But I'm telling you there's some something shady here. Which kind of like it's freaking me out a bit. There's something shady here. Like <sighs> There's something shady here. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. We had... It was an accident. I love my wife. Had a meeting about this. Not happy that we have to do this. Something here. This, this, they're all... The people behind this and, you know, our other card. This is all the, the dark... I guess you call them dark hats. Okay? Somebody here knows something else, but this is where thinking we're going to get away with it. This is why they're still worried. There's something going on with this. They're trying to cover up. They had hoped that she would pass later, but this dude, allegedly, getting back at him with something, or he knows something about these things. Well, not that. That goes back over here with, uh, you know, gov government type things, right? Somebody knows something, but there's something else going on here. Now, that is also funny when we think about this. You know, that ranch, the <laughs> ranch. It's not too far away. Okay, I don't know. Something else is going on. I can't get any deeper in it right now. Maybe I'm not meant to. That could also be something else here. Anyhow. That's what I'm getting so far, allegedly, for entertainment purposes. Please like, share, subscribe. Please know I have no desire to leave the earth plane <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. Um, yeah, so this was a long read. Hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think down below. Try and use code words if need be so I don't get in trouble. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.